Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. Saturn, Spica, and Selene, oh my, and Saturn says bye-bye to a pair of dancing stars. Greetings, fellow stargazers. I'm James Alberry from the Kika Silva Pla Planetarium at Santa Fe College in Gainesville, Florida, and I'll be your guide to the sky this month on Stargazer. September is almost here, and next week we'll see the moon have a close encounter with both a star and a planet, and we'll also see the second largest planet in our solar system say farewell to a starry companion. Wondering what I'm talking about? Here, let me show you. Alrighty, I have our sky set for just after sunset facing west. Directly above the western horizon you'll see the familiar triangle of bright lights that we've been talking about since April. The bright stars are Taurus and Spica and the ringed planet Saturn. You can find the trio by following the handle of the Big Dipper toward the star Arcturus and then trace another line from Arcturus down to Spica. Just to Spica's right is the planet Saturn. On Wednesday, August 31st, you'll see the moon form a neat little triangle with Spica and Saturn. Then the next day, Thursday, September 1st, the moon, Spica, and Saturn will form a nearly straight line in the sky. And all of this happens just after sunset, so you should have no trouble seeing it from wherever you live. If you've been watching Saturn over the past few months, you've noticed it's appeared very close to a little star called Perima. Perima is the third brightest star in the zodiacal constellation of Virgo the Virgin. Perima is actually a binary star system, that is, two stars that orbit each other. Both stars are a little bigger than our Sun, they're yellow-white in color, and it takes them almost 169 years to orbit each other one time. The stars are usually far enough apart that in a small telescope you can actually see them individually. Unfortunately, the way the stars appear right now, it's very difficult to see any separation between them. You'll have to wait until 2020 for the stars to be far enough apart to see them individually using a small telescope. The Perima star system is 38 and a half light years away. That means the light we see coming from the Perima star system left back in 1973. So when we look at this dancing pair of stars, we're actually looking back in time. So if you think about it, we don't actually see what the stars look like right now until 2049. Wow. All this year, Saturn has appeared very close to Perima. Saturn is what the Greeks referred to as a wandering star, and as the nights pass, you'll notice that Saturn is getting farther and farther away from Perima and heading quickly toward Spica, the brightest star in Virgo. This rapid change in Saturn's position is caused by our movement around the Sun. Imagine our solar system is a giant racetrack, and all the planets are moving around this track in the same direction, but at different speeds. Since we're closer to the Sun, the Sun's gravity has a stronger pull on us, making us travel much faster around the Sun than Saturn. Believe it or not, the Earth is moving at over 66,000 miles per hour around the Sun. That's over 18 miles every second. At that speed, you could travel from New York City, New York to Los Angeles, California in only two and a half minutes. By comparison, Saturn pokes along at a lazy 21,676 miles per hour, or six miles per second. So, in effect, we're leaving Saturn behind, and in a few months, we'll be on the opposite side of the solar system from Saturn. As the Earth travels around the Sun, Saturn will appear to move faster in the sky in the direction of Spica, thus moving away from Perima. Then, after we come around on the, the Sun on the other side, Saturn will appear to loop back to where it was in the sky before. But this time, Saturn will be 12 degrees farther east in the sky than where we left it. So, Saturn and Perima are going to be saying farewell to one another and won't be this close in the sky again until winter 2040. Alrighty, well, out into the stars with you, my friends, and see this pair while you can. And remember, whatever you do, keep looking up. Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for $19.95. In addition, Stargazing with Jack Horkheimer, Cosmic Comics for the Sky Watcher is also available for $19.95.